So guys, you forgot the password to your iOS device, and now you can't get into it. Well guys, if you are in the situation and this sort of a thing has happened to you, you have come to the right video. Hey guys, what is up, Samith here, and I am back with another video. So guys, if you remember some time ago now, I made a video on how you can get inside your Android device, uh, just in case you forgot the password to it. Well guys, today I am going to be showing you how to access your iPhone or any iOS device on any firmware um, if you forgot the password to it. So as you can see guys, right now I am doing this on the latest iPhone 6s and also on the latest iOS firmware. So let's get started. So guys, for this all you will need is your iPhone itself. Uh, you will need a PC or a Mac. As you can see I have that right here. That right here. And um, yeah, and you will need your uh, lightning to power cable to, to connect it to your MacBook or your PC. So the guys, the first things first, the first thing you want to do is essentially plug in your iPhone to your PC or Mac. So guys, as you saw, I'm doing this on a MacBook, but you can also do this on um, a PC but you will need to have iTunes in it if you are doing it on Windows. Now, I will leave the link to the latest version of iTunes you can get down below in the description. And um, yeah, that is about it. And all you have to do after that is just open up iTunes on your uh, device, on your PC or MacBook, which you're doing it on, and you should be good to go once, it's connect once your iPhone is connected. Now, okay, now, guys, before proceeding, I would just like to inform you that this process is essentially a hard reset to the iPhone software, the iPhone or any iOS device software. So, essentially, all of your data is going to be erased. But there is one thing that you can do, and that is if you have a backup of your iPhone or uh, stored on your computer on iTunes, then you can back it up later. And, um, yeah, that is about it. So we can proceed to um, resetting the iPhone. Okay, so the first thing you want to do after this is you want to hold the power and the home button as you would do if you were to reset your uh, restart your iPhone. So I'm going to hold both at the same time as if I'm restarting the iPhone. And you want to do this for 10 seconds after which you are going to release the power button, but keep holding the home button. So. Okay. And, um, we are... Okay, so, now I release the power button and I'm at this screen. So, it tells me to plug it into iTunes. Now, on your computer, if you look at... Okay, so hopefully you're going to get a message like this on your computer or Mac saying that there is a problem with the iPhone that requires it to be update, updated or restored. So at this screen, what you want to do is you want to hit restore. Okay, so now um, basically what it's going to do is it's going to restore and update the iPhone software if there's any new um, update available. So you just click next, next, agree. And um, yeah, we are in the process. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut the video and skip uh, skip through and um, I'll be back once we are almost done with the process. So guys, as you can see, we are almost done with the download of the uh, software. And um, yeah, in yeah, okay. So we are done with the software download now the actual uh, process will be taking place on the iPhone itself okay you'll see that the iPhone is now turning on okay guys and now we have this loading screen on the iPhone so I'll just let that complete Guys, the iPhone is now restarting, so this indicates that we are almost done with the process. Okay, we just have another loading screen. So the so my computer has detected the iPhone, um, as you can see here. My computer has detected the iPhone, 
and uh, that means we are almost done and bam there we go now the iPhone is restarting as you can see I have my okay and now we are at the activation screen so I'll just quickly go through this and I'll be back okay guys so we are now in the iPhone bam that's it it is as easy as that to uh, get back into your iPhone in case you forgot the password now guys, as I told you in the beginning, if you have an iTunes backup to your computer, or even an iCloud backup for that matter, you can easily just back it up, and um, yeah, that is about it. Okay guys, that is about it for this video. Um, if this video helped you, please hit that like button guys, and please subscribe to my channel for more such videos. I upload videos usually at least once a week, so it really should be worth it. That is about it, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, peace.